Hi everyone, today's tutorial is about creating custom VPC network. VPC network provides connectivity for your compute engine virtual machine instances, Google Kubernetes engine clusters, App Engine flexible environment instances and other resources in your project. You can create VPC network using two different modes. One is auto mode where you do really don't need to do much and everything that is required is created for you in the back end. The other is custom mode where you will have to create subnets within your preferred region. So let's get started with something very basic and the very first step that you need to do before anything else is, the, is that you need to create a project. So for any GCP resource that you want to use and allocate, you will need to create a project. A project consists of settings, permissions, and other metadata that describe your applications. You can see all your existing projects by clicking on this drop down menu. So these are all the recent projects I've been working on and to see all the projects, we'll click on all tab. From here, you can see all the projects. You can see the organization you're wor working under by clicking on this drop down menu. If you're not working under any organization or any domain, you will not be able to see this. You will just be able to see no organization. So uh, this little building sign is the icon for organization. You can have multiple folders and projects under organization. You can also have multiple projects under uh, under a folder. So these are some folders that I've created and these are some um, projects that I have under my organization. To create a new project, I'll click on new project and then I'll give it a name. So for this, I'll give it a name of demo project 2020. So we've given the name of our choice and you can see a project ID has been auto generated for us. You can, so this is the project ID that has been auto generated. You can edit this auto generated project ID at the time of creating new project, but not later. So if I want to make ch any changes to it, I can just make the changes now, but I can't do it later. This project ID is unique across Google Cloud Platform. Once you've created a project, you can delete the project, but it's the ID that can never be used again. Okay, so this is the thing that you should remember. So now everything is fine. I'll just click on create. So our project has been created make sure you're in the project that you want to work on so this is not the project i want to work on so i'll just click on this drop down menu again and i'll select the project i want to work i want to work in the project demo project 2020 the one we just created once we are in the project We'll click on this hamburger icon and today's tutorial is about creating VPC network. So we'll scroll down to networking and then VPC and then we'll click on VPC network. Compute engine is getting ready. This may take a time. So um, uh, to create VPC network, we need to enable compute engine. So it says that it is getting ready. It might take some time. Until it gets ready, I'm just going to pause this video and I'll get back when it is ready. And we're back. You can see the list of default VPC network. But this, these are not what we want for this tutorial. We're going to click on this plus icon so that we can create the custom VPC network on our own. I'm going to give it the name of demo custom VPC in the description I'm just going to say demo custom VPC network network and, and now it's time to create subnets you get two options as I told you custom and automatic automatic is not what we want right now we want to create our own subnet so we'll give it a name I'll just give it a name of subnet 1 Mumbai I'll select the region I'll select the region as Mumbai I know the uh, region code for Mumbai is 
Asia South one. If you want to select any other region, you can do so. But if you're confused with the region code, I'll just mention a link in the description box where you can find all the region codes according to the region. Um, now the IP range 10.0.1.0.0 slash 24 I'll scroll down and then I'll click on done I want to add another subnet so I'll click on this plus icon which says add subnet I'll give it a name of subnet 2 um, I want to create it in Singapore region so the code for Singapore region is Asia Southeast 1 going to go with that the IP range address will be 10.0.2.0 slash 24 and then I'll click on done once everything is done I'll click on create and it says creating network demo custom VPC let's see if we've created so it uh, the Google Cloud Platform is creating a demo custom VPC for us. This may take few minutes. Let's just wait till it's created. So here we go we can see the demo custom VPC has been created and it has two subnets that we created subnet 1 and subnet 2 subnet 1 is in Mumbai subnet 2 is in Singapore so that's all for today in the next lecture we are going to create firewall rules so that we can SSH into our resources I hope this tutorial was helpful thanks for watching see you till next time